What's up, y'all? What's going on? Happy Sunday afternoon. Um, taking a ride real fast. To handle a few things. Just want to touch base with y'all today. Um, focus on um, a saying I like to say, something I'm hearing other people say. I'm not saying I said it first, but something I like to say. And that's um, facts over feelings. You know, a lot of times, you know, um, when dealing with other individuals, you know, we have to lean, we like to lean toward the emotional portion of it as opposed to the truth, you know, um, especially ourselves, but dealing with ourselves, you know, we, we find a lot of ways to let ourselves off the hook, you know, um, when we trying to um, figure out why we haven't, why we're missing the mark. Why we haven't completed tasks that we were supposed to complete. Why we um, are not where we feel like we're supposed to be in our lives and things of that nature. So, you know, um, for me, I'm like, I just took the the whole um, stance on just saying, forget the feelings. Let's just focus on the facts. You know, the truth is undefeated. The truth is not one thing or the other. It just is. And, you know, it's not my truth because more than one thing can be true. I can feel a way and it can be true and someone else can feel completely different and that can be true. So it's not about how I feel, but whatever the truth is, you know, it is what it is. It's not to be disputed. You know, um, you that's why people say live your truth. You know, you live what you feel comfortable with, but tell me you got to push that on nobody else. But more than one thing can be true. But the truth of the matter is, is this. If you're not where you want to be, and you, and you haven't accomplished the things you want to accomplish, it's not nobody's fault but yours. Period. If no one held a gun in your head, if nobody, you know, um, physically held you um, at your, against your will to do what you wanted to do, or stop you from doing what you wanted to do, then it's not on them. And again, it can be true that these people did you dirty, they said bad things about you, they tried to put roadblocks and stop you. They, they, they did. They could have did everything in the world you said. But if you still had a way, if it was still a way for you to do what you needed to do, it's not their fault. It doesn't make you wrong for telling the truth that they did. They did you dirty. But it's also true that you still had a way to do what you needed to do to get to be successful or to go where you wanted to go in your life. And so we have to focus on that because a lot of times we're putting ourselves in situations where we're not doing what we what we want to do or climb, climbing to the higher heights that we want to be in life because we're stuck at what somebody else did or what somebody else didn't do for you. Even though they said they was going to do it, maybe they was even supposed to do it, i.e. parents or what have you, um, or loved ones. And that just is this, you know, you're being held back by that. And we, we got to stop that because the truth of the matter is we got to continue to grow. I did a video this week about continuing to better yourself because the stronger you get, the more you start understanding the power you have. And the more you start understanding the, the amount of power these people really don't have over you and the circumstances in life, everybody's going through the same situation. So you look across the street and you see somebody that's weaker than you. They don't have the education, the talents, none of that, but they still winning. What is happening with them? What's different? I'll tell you what's different. They're choosing to focus on what's real over their feelings. Because the truth of the matter is, we're at the end of the year right now. So, y'all heard the Jay-Z saying years ago, women lie, men lie, numbers don't. So if your money is not where it is, where, where you want it to be, you're, you can go ahead and look. This is the thing we don't do, we don't look in the mirror. We don't want to look at our finances. We don't look at that type of thing and say, you know what? The truth is, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't make 100 calls a week like I said I was going to do. I only made 20. I didn't you know, save the money I said I was going to save every month. I, t I turned up. I can look in my closet and see way more stuff than I than I planned on doing. Or I ate out. I can look at my receipts and see how much, how much of this went on meals as opposed to going into savings or just an investment or something like that. We have to deal with the facts. And the evidence is there. It's not hiding. We just have put ourselves in a position where we're comfortable with not looking at the evidence without without looking at the facts or without dealing with it. 
and we find we find our solace and our safety in dealing in our emotions or finding some reason to pull to blame it on someone else. The city you live in, the people you are around. Again, all of this can be true. You can be in a non-productive city. You can be around non-productive people. But again, you choose to live where you live. You choose to be around the people you are around. You choose to make the decisions that you make. If nobody took your credit card from you and made and spent it for you, that's on you. And so I want us to focus on the facts over the feelings going into 2021. Start focusing on what's, what I really, really got control over and what I don't. Because when you start doing that, you'll start understanding I can put all my energy into the things that I got control over and I'll let God handle the things I don't have control over. Love y'all. Peace.